ridden by Mark Dwyer. And four is the horse that uh, Peter Skewdemore would have been riding. And what a track record uh, Skew has got. 38 winners here in the last five years, showing a profit of over 50 pounds to a level stake. That's Sabandulwa, now ridden by Mark Perrett, the assured favorite. Here's how they've been. Yes, very short, Peter. Sabandulwa is two to one on favorite. And next in line, Phoenix Gold, three to one against. Morton's coin opened at fours, went to nine to two. And Captain Moore is 20 to 1. Southern Dubois measures it neatly. They all jump in fine. And quite a long run now towards the second. Third, I should say. And spell thought for the cameraman in this desperate high wind, Keith Spodkins, who's manning the camera next to me on the roof of the grandstand, has been clutching a rail to save going over the edge most of the afternoon. He's got him well in his sights uh, now as they turn into the home stretch for the first time with Sabin Dulois leading Norton's coin now, the Gold Cup winner. Then the Sheepskin Nose Band on Phoenix Gold. Behind them, Captain Moore over the third. Sabin Dulois, Norton's coin, Phoenix Gold, and Captain Moore. And prize money, and serious prize money too for all four in this grade one Newton chase. Sabandulois, ears pricked, comes down to the next. Over the fourth from Norton's coin. Phoenix Gold and Captain Moore. Out of three length advantage, Sabandulois at the moment. From Norton's coin in second, very close third. Is Phoenix as they jump the fifth. Then Captain Moore. Now the second of the ditches. Right in front of the stand. It's not jumped next time. Sabin Phoenix just shading Norton's. And then Captain Moore. And now over the water. Sabin Jumps it. Three clear on Phoenix Gold. Norton's coin close. Third, disputing second place now. Captain Moore, fourth of the quartet. Sabin from Norton's coin on the inside of Phoenix Girl, just shading in marginally. Captain Moore and Kenny Johnson getting a little bit closer as they race towards the first fence down the far side here at Haydock. It will be number eight of the 15 fences in all. Saban the leader. Still clear. And little to choose between the remaining three. Captain Moore makes good ground on the inside, the right of the picture. Phoenix on the far side. Over the ninth, Norton's coin between them. Racing towards number 10, Saban from Norton's coin, Captain Moore and Phoenix Gold. Oh, and they've both gone. They've both gone. Phoenix Gold and Norton's coin have both gone there. And both horses, I can see, continuing riderless. Both riders are up on their feet. And so just two left in it as they come to the final ditch. Number 12 of the 15 fences. Four from home. Sabandulwa lands clear of Captain Moore. So what a bit of disappointment there for the connections of Norton's Coin and Phoenix Gold. Sabandulwa about 10 to 12 lengths clear of Captain Moore as this odds-on favorite for the Newton Chase turns for home, winner of 15 of his 30 races, and with this 35,000 pounds prize well in his sights now. Three left to jump, Saban Jumps the third last, a long way clear of Captain Moore. Mark Perrett looks over his right shoulder, and Peter Skewdebor must be watching this with mixed feelings. It would have been another very big race winner for him, but he'll be delighted for his stable. 
Oh boy, he wouldn't be delighted with his uh, with his jump at that one, but he got away with it all right. And this is always a jockey's problem now, whether he just goes steady, takes it easy, just negotiates it, ne negotiates it, or whether he kicks him on and goes into it. And uh, Mark Parrott is kicking him on and having tackling it properly, and he doesn't jump it absolutely brilliantly, but he gets away with it all right. And Captain Moore jumps it second, so these are going to be the one two. They're being uh, followed at a respectful distance by the riderless Phoenix Gold, who's just wondering whether to jump the fence or not, and he's not going to. He's run round the fence, and he's now he's dodged round the hurdle. He's a right lad. And so, Saban de strides up towards the line, gets the applause of the very cold crowd here at Haydock as he wins the Newton Chase very comfortably indeed from Captain Moore and Kenny Johnson, who passed the post now in second. It's a very big prize for third, but it doesn't look, and for fourth, but it doesn't look as though either of these horses are going to be uh, retrieved, but I would think the judge will remain in his box for a while, just uh, in case there's a chance, because Mark Dwyer ran across the course to see if there's a chance of catching Phoenix Gold. Whether they will be unite reunited or not, uh, is a matter of academic interest to punters, of course, because four runners. And the one two are first number four, Saban Dulois, owned by Mr. B.A. Kilpatrick, trained by Martin Pipe and written by Mark Perrett. And second number one, Captain Moore, owned by Mr. Peter Pillar, trained by Arthur Stevenson, and written by Mr. Kenny Johnson. Number four, Saban Dulois, two to one on favourite. And second number one, Captain Moore, 16 to 1, only two finishes.